everyone. Today we're going to draw some jellies or jellyfish, but they're not really fish. They're actually called cnidarians. They're one of the most common types of sea animals found in every ocean in the world. Okay, so let's start. I am looking at a picture and let's start with the bell. The bell is that top round area of the jellyfish and I'm just going to draw a rounded half circle and then I'm going to come down and if you notice I have a pencil to start my drawing with but I'm going to come underneath it because I want to get a nice view on this jellyfish. I want to see underneath it a little bit. So now I'm going to come back and I'm going to make underneath so we are going to be able to see those tentacles on the side and we're also going to be able to see the oral arm in the center. Okay, so this is just a very, very basic shape. Now, when I go to start the roundness of the, the bell, I am going to come down and I want to curve this line down and I'm going to kind of make this flow a little more natural. When I'm coming down, I'm coming closer to each line I just drew. So now I can kind of make these little scallopy edges. Okay. And when I draw closer to the center, this line is going to get straighter. So now if I do my scallopy edge, it comes up like that. So think of an umbrella. Okay, I'm going to come down like that. Now this area here, and I'm going to come down a little more natural, is going to get a little closer. And then if you see again, I'm going to get one more, I can get one more line in there that is going to be a little closer there. And then we're just going to end off looking like that. We're going to scallop these edges and we're going to continue it going around. Okay. Now I'm just bringing this right back around. So we want that edge right in here to kind of curve. So this is going to go in and kind of curve around. All right. Now I really don't want to draw the inside or I don't want to draw the outer edge of my bell on the outside first because I'm going to draw some of the tentacles and the oral arms. Okay, so first thing, I'm looking at my, my picture and I do want to get it underneath. So I'm going to draw, this is called the oral arm because their mouth is underneath here and their mouth also excretes. So that means they actually eliminate their waste out their mouth. Ew, that's gross. So I'm going to come and I'm going to make some wavy lines, but I want this to kind of come from here and here and maybe a little line there. So this kind of grabs and kind of almost tucks in a little bit. Then I am going to have just a line on one side and however I want to make the line on the other side. And I want a few of these to kind of come down in different directions. Now you can make this flow however you want to. On one side, we're going to have it pretty solid, I guess you'd say. The other side, I'm going to do these little waves. So in and out, and I can go back and forth on that line. And then I'm just going to kind of carry that down. 
all these little wavy parts. Some of them are going to get thin, some of them are going to be kind of thick. So I'm just going to kind of carry this over to this side. Okay, and then that's one of my oral arms. In this center, we're all kind of we're squeezing this right, kind of like in the center, just kind of wrapping it up, and then it's blooming out. So we can have some of these little guys wrapping around. And it'll twist behind. It'll go in front. Okay, one will be kind of on top of the other. So maybe we've got something in there like that. Okay, close together. You know, maybe they're underneath each other. These little wavy parts. Okay. So this is what I mean by underneath each other. They could go the opposite way like that. Okay, but it, it's kind of based on this line. So if you do these and you kind of wrap around like that and then wrap back, you can do something like that. And honestly, these are going to turn out just like the oral arms as long as you make this part thicker. Thicker than the, the outside tentacles. Okay, maybe I'll just do a couple more in here. That's how I like to start it though. It's actually an easy way to start it. And like I said, there's different ways because there's different types of jellyfish. And I could have this drag really far if I wanted to in like right off of the page. Because jellyfish can be as small as your fingernail or as big as a human in diameter. So if you think someone's around six to seven foot tall, um, they have discovered jellyfish up to seven foot in diameter. So think of a person that's six foot, usually taller than you, and then the jellyfish being in diameter that big. So they can be very big. Now I'm going to add some tentacles and when I add my tentacles I am going to start with a thicker line and then come down and however you want to make your tentacle flow. We want to create some movement. And when you create the movement, like you might want to go in a direction, it might want to kind of be flowing off in a direction, or you can have it go up and out, however you want to. So it's going to start off a little thicker towards the bell, and it'll get thinner. Okay, so we're just going to put in some of these tentacles. and just keep this movement. So they'll, they'll go right on top. There's gonna be a lot of lines in these jellyfish. So lines are gonna create your movement. And what's funny about jellyfish is they don't have a brain, they don't have a heart, they don't have blood, they don't have a nervous system. You 
Now, one of the most dangerous jellyfish is the box jelly, and that jelly actually can kill from its sting. But jellyfish do sting. They even sting when they might be washed up on shore. So some of the tentacles can go behind, and some of them are going to go on top of your oral arms. So think of where they are. They're behind as it is, and you don't want to overdo these because it is a drawing. You don't want to overdo it. Because there's a lot going on in there. There's a lot going on in there as it is. Oops. And try not to make them too thick, like I just did that. Okay, now you've got your basic jellyfish. You may want to add some bubbles around it like it is propelling itself in the ocean by the bell opening up and closing real fast. Propelling itself through the water, it's gonna have some bubbles around it. There we go. Happy jelly fishing. Subscribe below and I'll see you next time.